Number 15. Opentopia The idea of being watched is enough to make anyone's skin crawl. Even if you're not suffering from diagnosed paranoia, the feeling of being watched or followed is enough to lead someone to a mental breakdown. This website probably won't help that notion any. As if knowing that street and security cameras are all over the world isn't bad enough, imagine that anyone can access these cameras at any time. Opentopia puts this spying power in the hands of anyone that has access to the internet. While this is almost a fetish for anyone hoping to spy on hot girls, it's nothing like that. Most of the cameras are in small businesses, public parks, busy city streets, and even private property. It's uncertain exactly how these feeds are made public, but it can be assumed that whoever runs this site taps into feeds and redirects them to Opentopia. It will relieve you to know that it's unlikely you'll find anything too terrifying, as there's only about 200 cameras available and most of them are workplaces or streets. Then again, all the online horror stories revolved around security footage sure makes you a little uneasy while watching a construction site or hospital through Opentopia. The live feeds are available pretty much 24-7, meaning that you can watch them at night as well, which is just a whole new level of disturbing. Number 14. The Unknown Subreddit Reddit is a social media website that resembles a forum or discussion board. Users can create subreddits which follow certain tags or topics. The creator, the subreddit, and all the posts within are seemingly random numbers and letters grouped together. These unexplainable postings went on for quite some time with no real answers available. Luckily, plenty of online users have looked into solving what seems to be a code. The Reddit user Kylix underscore has made some breakthroughs as far as a possible code being used. The downside is that no exact messages have been found from this. While it's not unlikely that these posts are entirely random and just made to get the Reddit community confused. With the recent trend of coding messages into horror-related content for a deeper layer of scary, it's very possible that each of these posts really do mean something. Perhaps someday it will be fully decoded and we will have even further to go in the research of this strange subreddit. Number 13. Zombo There's some unsettling factor presented in waiting. Waiting in line at a market. Waiting for a website to load. Waiting in a doctor's office. No matter your reason, it's very easy to become impatient and even anxious. So a website entirely dedicated to waiting is a pretty strange concept. Ever since the use of the internet became more popular, it seems all innovations have been focused on getting things to work faster and faster. The more quickly a website can load, the better of a site it's considered to be. Yet Zombo seems to take pride in how slow and meaningless it is. The website really is nothing but a loading screen. As soon as the page opens, you see a small color wheel that indicates the page is loading. Mystical music that sounds like a carnival soundtrack plays quietly as you wait for something to happen. A male's voice narrates and announces, You can do it. You can do it. Anything, 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 anything at all. The only, the only limit, limit yourself. is yourself. Welcome, Welcome to ZomboCon. He continues to hype up the visitor for what seems to be the most amazing website ever invented. The longer you sit on the site, the more excited the narrator seems to become. The kicker is that there's nothing coming. You can't really do anything at Zombicom. It's just a loading screen with a hype man. The entire setup has some strange utopian feel to it. Like a large overbearing corporation that convinces you something is great even if it's just a total waste of time. Number 12. Staggering Beauty This website is fairly simple and pretty innocent from a certain standpoint. Staggering Beauty is a website that features a black worm-like figure with small white eyes. As you move your mouse pointer around the screen, the worm follows it gently and almost in a cute manner. After a few minutes on the site, a message comes up that instructs you to shake vigorously. If you shake your pointer quickly, Static, neon, and bright images flash behind the worm that has completely changed shapes. Along with this, loud club-like dance music plays. This isn't exactly creepy, but someone with epilepsy would beg to differ. More importantly, you find yourself asking why this site was even made, and how exactly would someone stumble across it. Number 11. Suicide Guides and pro Anna Sites the majority of these sites are blogs or forums and not really traditional websites. The most popular suicide guide website is Lost All Hope. Before entering, you are required to confirm that you are at least 18 years or older. 
The welcome page has a long intro which explains the content of the site. A portion reads, You may be reading this looking for information on methods to commit suicide. They are here. Maybe you'd like to know statistical information about suicide. You're in the right place. Perhaps you are feeling really low. Part of you wants to end it, and part of you just wants to be happy. You'll find information and links that might help you. So clearly here can be found suicide methods, sources for seeking help, and general information about suicide. Under the suicide methods tag, there are options such as firearms, plastic bag, drugs, hanging, most lethal, and much more. While this site does offer resources for those that aren't sure that they want to commit to ending it, there are also several pages where the creators or admins of this site seem dedicated to helping people finish the job. It's a little unsettling that people out there are willing to not only help, but somewhat encourage others to end their own lives. Sites that share this idea of encouraging self-harm are pro-Anna sites. If you may not know, anorexia is an eating disorder where a person either doesn't eat for long periods, or eats only very small amounts in an effort to lose weight. A disorder that branches from this is bulimia, where a person doesn't eat normally throughout the day, but rather, they binge eat all at once and then puke it all out. Eating disorders are considered mental illnesses. If you or someone you know may be suffering from these, it's important to get proper care. pro sites offer tips on how to avoid eating, how to binge and purge, how to look thinner, how to hide the disorder from loved ones, and some sites and forums even offer what's known as thinspiration photos or art of nearly deceased thin people as a sort of inspiration for those committed to their disorder. There are numerous sites for this, mostly WordPress or Tumblr blogs. An interesting find is the Pro Anna Lifestyle Forever WordPress. This blog offers information on the Pro Anna religion or lifestyle. A page of tips and tricks such as Anna must be the center of your life. Eating denser foods make you feel like eating more. Ice and gum are good food substitutes for when you're hungry. There's a Thinspiration page, as well as a My Goals page, where the person running this blog explains that their goal weight is 100 pounds. Even for someone as short as 4 foot 10, this weight would be dangerously low. Again, the scary part about these websites are that people are so consumed by their illness that they encourage others to take part, and either don't offer help at all, or offer it as more of a second thought. Again, if you are suffering from thoughts of suicide or an eating disorder, some resources will be linked below. Number 10. Survive the Outbreak This online movie is unique because it seems to merge with video gaming. You watch the movie about a zombie outbreak. Every few minutes, you're faced with a decision. If you choose the wrong thing, you die. You have the chance to start over or go back to another specific point. While the right combination of decisions will lead to your survival, most often you die. This game gained a lot of popularity when it was created in 2008 because it resembled exactly what horror buffs were looking for, a movie where you get to control the characters. Have you ever screamed at a movie hoping the lead character would listen to you and survive? This game was an amazing way to accomplish that. Despite the satisfying feeling of controlling your character, there was also something dark about just how easy it was to accidentally kill them off. This, of course, isn't the only game of its kind. In fact, two years before Final Destination 3 made a DVD debut where you could choose the fate of your character at certain scenes, in this algorithm, the characters or the entire cast could die based on a simple choice. Games like this are a stark reminder how fragile life is. Something that seems meaningless could literally lead to your death. Number 9. Memory of Memorial headstones, memorial parties, memorial tattoos. These things we dedicate to our past loved ones don't seem too out of the ordinary. What about a public website dedicated to them? Memory of is a website that resembles a social media site. Members can create pages dedicated to their past loved ones, comment on the pages of others, and even chat amongst each other. At the top of the homepage, a scrolling menu shows the anniversaries of all the members' past loved ones. This doesn't seem too troubling at first. Just a place where people can immortalize their relatives as well as connect with others who may share their pain. The thing is that really sets the vibe off are the photos. Each page, 
dedicated to a deceased person has a photo album. While some members just include a few photos of the person when they were living, others include several photos not only of the funeral, but even of the corpse in the morgue. Especially mothers of stillborn infants include several photos of the corpse. This may be a form of coping for some, but it's still pretty unsettling to stumble across these pictures and realize that they're of someone who is no longer living and sends the loving tone of the site in more of a creepy direction. Number 8. Death Date as the old saying goes, there are two things in life that are guaranteed. You will pay taxes and you will die, and can be a terrifying thought. Even some of the most religious people have a slight concern of what comes after this life. If you could find out when you were due to die, would you? This website uses information such as your height, weight, and lifestyle to tell when you are expected to die based on medical statistics. Once you fill out this form, you are given the exact amount of time you have left, represented as years, months, and days. Even worse is that below is a large clock of the total number of seconds you have left, and you can watch it count down. Below this it reads, there are three symbols, called the symbols of death, related to your birth date, and predicted death date. They can have a direct connection with the cause of death, followed by what three symbols represent your death. It's a bit confusing if these three symbols are supposed to be signs that death is coming, or if these three things will come together and cause your death. Either way, they are also likely based on statistics. Even if the idea of death wasn't unsettling enough, the fact that these results are based on actual math and not some random scary options makes your results even more disturbing to think about. Number 7. Text Maze As far as creating websites go, or as far as putting anything together goes, this project certainly took a lot of work, time, and dedication. This website, also commonly known as Nine, is a literal maze of numbers, letters, quotes, Bible verses, artworks, and math. You begin on a page where abracadabra is represented in a pyramid shape. From here you can click through and you are sent through literal pages of more and more confusing content. Just as you think you've got the message behind this, something comes up and makes you completely disregard what you had thought. There's a forum associated with this website as well, where there are only about six members who offer no special information. Even in the questions board, more questions are answered with more confusing gibberish, or admins simply saying, how can you not understand? Many believe that this was an intricate project done by artist David Denson as his artwork are the paintings featured on several pages of the maze. If this is the case, the amount of work put into this creation is astounding and likely took several months if not more. While this is widely believed, it's not proven and we are still left with the question, what's the point? There seems to be a huge focus on the number 9, religion and math related to the alphabet. There are several sources online that have looked further into this, but for the most part it's just very complicated to keep up with. Even scrolling through the pages of the site can be headache inducing, and if you read some of it out loud you feel like you're summoning a demon from another realm. Number 6. White Enamel This website is an interactive point and click story where you travel through what appears to be an abandoned insane asylum. It is clear that the main point of this game was to educate players on the poor conditions that psychiatric centers used to, and often still do have. While most of the ghostly animations are pretty cheesy, it's filled with creepy old music and some quality jump scares. Not only that, but the general reminder that psychiatric patients were once given inhumane treatments such as shock therapy and lobotomies is a horrifying reality. Some players have even said that certain parts of this game made them cry. It apparently takes several hours to get through the entire game and many users came back to it in parts to get the full playthrough. To get the full story, you can play yourself or watch others walk through the eerie asylum. Number 5. Exit Mundi the longer we live on this planet, the more horrible things seem to become. Every day acts of terrorism, violence, starvation, disease, and worse, plague our world and cause death, carnage, alteration in law, and lost faith in humanity. Many people take the horrible things happening in the world as a sign of the end of days. Some scientists, religious figures, worshippers, and historians have a common belief that we aren't far from the world ending. Even back in 2012, there were Mayan calculations that claimed the world would end. 
This, of course, was proven false as we're all still here. Exit Mundi is a website with a vast collection of the end of the world scenarios. Everything from terrorist attacks, alien invasions, time warps, and zombies are featured on this site. Things are ordered based on time of occurrence and cause. Many things listed are almost comedic and would probably never happen. But there are some other entries that seem possible enough to make someone question everything. Number 4. Gore Websites Many people seem to have a strange fascination with gore, whether it's for fetish reasons or just some macabre strange entertainment. There's still a large majority of people who find these images deeply disturbing and even stomach-turning though. There are multiple websites that are popular locations where people can share and view gory images and videos. These things are really not for the faint-hearted, and if it's not something you're used to viewing, you should be prepared to have nightmares for a solid week. Number 3. Ted is God Nearly every busy city in the world has one of these guys that stands at a corner with a sign that reads something about the end of days or God. Most aren't sure if he's homeless and in need of money or just crazy and trying to spread his message. Imagine that this guy got his own website where he was able to voice his insane opinions without much more context. Ted is God is the exact place where this seems to happen. There are some text boxes and images that basically try to explain that Ted is God. There are photos of this dirty Santa looking man that we can assume is Ted. Each page has several paragraphs of writing that seem to be trying to tell a story, but it's written in an almost illiterate manner. One page has a photo of a white van, a car, and a black male at a computer. This page seems to be trying to explain that someone stole Ted's bike and that if Ted comes up dead, it was an assassin. The contents of this site seem to range from forms of paranoid schizophrenia to religious delusions. Either way, it's a little unsettling to know that someone out there has such serious issues and is probably not seeking proper care. It's also a little strange to consider that someone who can barely create coherent sentences can somehow construct an in-depth website dedicated to their delusions. Number 2. Joy of Satan There are countless religions across the world that try to rig people into their belief system. Satanism has, in more recent years, Satanism has, in more recent years, become less of an evil or creepy religion and more of just one point on a long list of alternate beliefs. This website titled Joy of Satan shares information about Satanism, its origins, Lucifer, how to become a Satanist, and other common religious information. For most, this may not seem like a big issue, and for those that know more about Satanism as a practice, know that there's no harm here. The unsettling part is that there are instructions on how to summon demons. There are pages that encourage teens and children to join Hell's army, and a few other things that seem a little far-fetched for those that believe in this kind of thing. It's pretty terrifying to think of a kid or teen stumbling across this and summoning a demon as some sort of joke. Sounds like the beginning to a horror flick. Number 1. Human Leather the website Human Leather is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's a sales website for a material that resembles leather, but is created from human flesh. The site explains that all the skin used for sale is created from those that have donated their body after their death. It can be assumed that this skin is just some sort of surplus from the deceased whose organs were not of use. No matter how you swing this, the idea of human leather is unsettling. Even more unsettling is wondering who buys this stuff and what use they're putting it to. Another major red flag here is the possibility that these people really weren't donors, but that maybe instead a mad scientist is out there murdering human beings to turn them into fashionable leather handbags. Thanks for checking out this countdown. Leave a like so we know you made it to the end. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new videos every week. My name is Chills and I hope you enjoyed the narration. My Twitter is at YTChills and my Instagram is at DylanIsChillinYT. I'd really appreciate a follow and feel free to send me a DM if you have any comments or suggestions. See ya.